Hey John Lynn, welcome in. I'll be right there, just finishing setting up. And Yuko's here, welcome as well. How are you doing today? I'll be right with you guys. I'm just finishing up here.
Alrighty, guys, welcome in. How's it going? Um, oof, bad start. Oh no, gentlemen. I will reset your money. Hold on. Alright. Hey, Shoe Talk, welcome in. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right there, right there we go. There we go. Has anyone ever had that kind of luck, like John Wynn, where they lost basically 50 million in, in gold? All right. Hey, uh, Jason, welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, we're, just doing, we're just doing some bay. Uh, we have some summons on the uh, Legendary Remix banner, uh, which I believe is Sothis and Julia. And then there's a whole bunch of other legendary heroes and all this stuff on there. And then uh, we got a calendar on Saturday. And I'm finally going to update my stream uh, calendar for the next month since uh, we do stream every day. And we basically use the Faye calendar to kind of plan around uh, our streams. And then that way we, we know which days we're streaming Faye, which days we're streaming other stuff. So How's it going? Oh, you know what? Let me do this too. Uh, Shoe Talks here, Dorolo's here, welcome in, how, how am I, I'm doing okay, how are you today? Um, any dinner row, like Fudo? Oops, that was the wrong one. Hang on. My sound's gone. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. no. Wish that I had that in my bank account. Same though. Hey guys, and welcome in. Trying to save money. Uh, hey credit, welcome in as well. Uh, I only have eighty dollars in my account. That's I've been there. I've been there. Uh, it's about to be a long night. What's up? <laughs> oh, is this about the direct? Man, if only someone knew what was all in all the like the announcements. Follow Jonas. Oh, thank you. Yeah, guys, I, I use my. I, I gotta get back to using it more. I'm uh, been pretty bad since the school year started, but uh, I usually post like collection stuff in there because I don't have a picture or I can't take a giant photo of everything anymore for my collection because I don't have the space. So what I do is uh, I post pictures of individual individual things on my Instagram now as they come in, and then uh, eventually sometime I'll post a picture of all the stuff. Uh. Hey, Polar, welcome in. How are you doing today? How's it going? Uh, or was it? Uh, I'm just pulling up some stuff here. But yeah, how, are you guys excited for the direct? Apparently Kaizen's staying up all night. Because that's what some people do. Um, anyone else planning on uh, watching? It's during work hours. I hate when they do that. But you know, they do that, so... What else can I do? Let's see here. Why not if I hang out in your voice chat while it happens? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> hey, Bullshock. Nintendo Direct tomorrow? Yes, Nintendo Direct. Going to Roger's base to stream it. Did he say he's gonna be able to stream it? Because it's... Pretty early in the morning. Hold on.
All right. Bum, bum, bum. Doing okay. I heard rumors that TMS might get a banner at the end of the direct. Um, at the end of the direct, that's really unlikely. Think we'll see the next mainline fire emblem uh pro i doubt it <laughs> staying up for the direct uh let's see it's not a fate channel it's a nintendo direct yeah so it's it's one it's unlikely we'd get anything related to fey in a nintendo direct and two uh even if it was a fate channel i doubt we'd get anything tms right after a direct in the morning fate channel would announce things that are coming up over the next month and then we'd uh, maybe see a trailer at some point for stuff that comes out maybe two or three days later. Also, I finally did it. What's up? Pull the Fire Festival Lynn on my main account. Oh, nice. Congrats. I didn't get anything on this banner, unfortunately. Building a new sword cab. Uh, Hyperion is going to the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Did you guys hear that Sony also is doing their own stuff? Uh, check my lead real fast. Is it the Julia that's completed? Maybe. Did you did you finish the Julia? Da, da. Hey Kamal, welcome in. Old man Tanuki. It only just looks bad because the camera's bad. That's the only reason why I look bad. I'm not old. Um Do you think uh or that? Uh, me and my Hilda plushie made up our bingo card for director. Oh, nice. Direct some to face stuff. There's not going to be a uh, banner announcement for the direct. Maybe through a Splatoon 3 amiibo. Hey, Bobo, welcome in. Possibly? I could see that. Um, now that the Minecraft amiibos are out, or Minecraft's character for Smash Bros, I should say, amiibo are out, um, we should see the next... We could see, I should say, we could see uh, a preview for at least the next one, maybe two. So what would that be? That would be Sephiroth and then Pyramithra. Let's see. Horizon. There we go. Is it? She's done. Plus ten, guys. This is Kaizen's Julia with the virtuous Nagara fine. Uh, if we do, do you think it's gonna be a brand new game in the series or the next remake? Uh, you're asking a lot of questions to someone who cannot reveal this stuff. Uh, maybe Nekopara for the Switch. Oh wait, the Switch already have those games. My FF Lin is minus HP plus defense. It's not bad. Uh. Kamal, you speaking my language. Uh, Sony's doing a lot of things lately, most of them bad. I mean, yeah, let's let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Uh, hype. Uh, let's see, I'm hoping for news that uh, for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Special Edition in Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you guys will get some news on that sometime soon. Because, uh, yeah, it's already it's been out. And then, uh, yeah, Europe had a different situation. Like, so the U.S., we, we just... We had to deal with a botched pre-order uh, event um, twice over, twice over. So there's that. Um, whereas Europe just was like, all right, you know what? Just buy the game separately, and then we'll let you guys buy the special edition contents later on. Which, honestly, in hindsight, they should have done it in America, although maybe not wait as long as Europe's been waiting already. Um, but yeah. Uh, game's already out, so there is a special edition now. Oh, okay, so yeah, Kaizen, um, ba uh, basically, again, after the U.S. botched the pre-orders twice, you guys, I don't know if you guys remember this, this was, uh, back in July. No, this is before July. Game came out in July. Um, but, uh, I think it was either early June or something. Um, they basically posted it on, it was exclusive to the Nintendo World Store. Not Nintendo World Store, Nintendo Online Store. And... 
within like a minute, we all crashed Nintendo's site trying to pre-order because Nintendo was just woefully unprepared. Like, okay, this is clearly not working. Like, it, this, they said this like eight or nine hours later. All right, this is clearly not working. We'll try again some other time. So we are not going to be posting more pre-orders again today. So then we were like, okay, or so everyone's like, okay, fine. We'll come back the next time. Come back the next time about about a month later, maybe three weeks later. Um, we come back within a minute. Site starts crashing again, but it starts uh, like cleaning up or not cleaning up, but like easing up a bit uh, about maybe three or four hours in uh, and then there's a period of about like 30 to 40 minutes where people can actually get pre-orders in so we do and then they sell out uh, so after all the backlash Nintendo got uh, I'm guessing that's part of why um, Europe went the route because uh, basically remember guys the Xenoblade 3 actually had its release date moved up so even though the game was ready by July the contents for the special edition weren't going to be ready for a while because again they 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 outsource a lot of the, the production of that stuff and then they kind of assemble it all together. Um, a lot of the contents were not going to be ready until later. Um, like, I still haven't received my special edition contents because, again, they weren't expected to be ready by this point yet. Um, so Nintendo eventually decided, okay, for those who pre-ordered online, uh, pre-ordered a special edition, at least in North America, what they're going to do is they're going to ship the game first when the rest of the world gets the game but you will be shipped the special edition contents at a later date, so shipped separately. I'm guessing that's why it was Nintendo Store exclusive, uh, Nintendo Online Store exclusive, because uh, most retailers probably wouldn't want to deal with a two-step pre-order system like that, where they get the game first and then months later uh, the, the special edition contents would be sent out. Because that's a, there's a whole lot about liability there for like other retailers like and uh, things like, well, they're going to cancel this or they're going to accidentally forget this and yada yada yada. Uh, Europe decided, yeah, we're gonna not do that. We'll just have people buy the game first, and then when the contents, the special edition contents are ready, you can purchase those separately. Because we're gonna get them separately anyway here in the U.S. anyway. They should have just sold the game first, and then sold the special edition contents when they were ready. Or at least did the pre-orders for the special edition contents. So we haven't gotten them in the States, which means that they're not ready, which means they're not ready for Europe either. Um, but, uh, yeah. Once they're ready, I'm sure they'll start to ship out uh, to everyone in North America and Europe and in Japan and all that stuff. So, uh, let's see here. Because uh, they delayed, yeah, yeah. Because that's so much that they delayed it is that they bumped up the release of the original, the the actual game. Uh, Faye for Nintendo Switch. There's, I mean, that would be that would reduce the incentive because like if it was just like a package thing, or are you talking like still straight up gotcha? Because, uh, like, for example, Mario Kart Tour, it's a gotcha, right? At least it was, I think. I can't remember what the situation I, I haven't played it. But anyway, they've, re they've been releasing all these Mario Kart Tour maps for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And now I'm like, if, well, if we're getting all the maps in Mario Kart 8, is there any, any reason to buy Mario Kart... Or not reason to buy, but any reason to spend money in Mario Kart Tour anymore? Uh, Tanuki, what do you know about what new game they're making? In a I know nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Um... We got the American release date for the new one, uh, new One Piece movie, which is going to be November 4th. Oh, nice! Uh, I got a friend whose birthday's on the day. Let me see here. Ba -ba -da. All right, let's see here. Da -la 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 -la. Hiding something? Maybe a new Fire Emblem game or port? Can't believe you say. Stop asking. Twilight Princess Wind Waker Switch remake. Uh, Zimba Chronicles X. I mean, if you guys want ports, the ports that I'm kind of wondering about. Star Fox Zero is kind of like in the limbo. It's like, how do they even bring it over? It's so dependent on having the Wii U screen in, in your hands and having the main screen on your TV. So that one's going to be like, a, ugh, how, I don't know how that's going to be ever brought over because like, how do you even do that? Um, what else am I wondering about like port wise from the, is they're talking about Wii U ports? Cause yeah, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker have, I mean, I, I'm assuming those are coming at some point. So, um, Xenoblade X, I would, I would expect that at some point. Maybe not right away. Because remember, this direct is going to focus on fall stuff. I feel like it's too soon after 3 for them to start hyping uh, an export. X. 
a port of X. <laughs> Uh, being moderated and Boshock is walking free. Sad days. Uh, so the European shop was under maintenance. They completely changed how it looks and currently don't ha have clothing. Yet. Ooh. Hmm. That's odd. I feel like X wouldn't sell well if it released now. It would compete with three, maybe next year, hopefully. Yeah, in terms of timing, I don't think that would be a fall and or a fall and winter announcement. So, delete the post to avoid Twitch deleting your account. You're welcome. Uh, Twitter UK has the announcement in English. Which announcements? Now planning to open pre-orders for the contents of the collector's edition in September. Um... They say when they're gonna open pre-orders. Um, Bates Day Night Visual Novel for Nintendo Switch. Haha. Huh? Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. My gosh, my mouth is so dry right now. I've been talking nonstop for 25 minutes. Now. Uh, thanks for your concern, but I wouldn't mind be being banned by Twitch. Uh, has Stay Night gotten any official ports or accessible to more than the old Japanese release? Mario Kart Tour is getting rid of a good chunk of gacha. Like, so how is that working? Because I, I don't play, so I don't know. I mean, I have played. But, yeah, I don't, I don't keep up with the Mario Kart Tour news. That would be interesting. I think Switch already has lots of those weird loot games ultra-censored. I don't know. Twitter would have... I mean, yeah, so, like, Twitter... Uh, sorry, uh, Switch does have a lot of, like, stuff that you would normally expect to be uh, too much for a Nintendo console, but because it's the, the big powerful console that, uh, not powerful, but big popular console that it is, um, you're going to get a lot of these third-party games that uh, Nintendo's just like, alright, alright. She would have a field day when they find out how Amelia and Saber hooked up in the Fate routes. She didn't say uh, know the correct way. Can Star Fox Zero even be ported to anything besides DS? Requires two screens. So unless Switch Two is a 4DS, then I think it's just a day game. I, I think it, having played it, or at least having played a, the E3 demo, I think it can be ported, but it's going to be a much more like it's never going to be just like a straight port. They're going to have to modify it heavily in order for it to be ported over. But it's like they spent millions on developing it, and it was released on a console that just did not sell. And in order to get some money back, they could port it. Again, it might not be the most popular Switch game, but uh, I think the port would be worth it to... Because the port, the port is not going to cost as much money as like a, developing a brand new game like they did with Star Fox Zero on the Wii U. And releasing a port on, it, on the Switch, even if it didn't sell great, would at least help them to recoup some of those costs. My, uh, my expectations are going to talk about the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Possibly, but again, don't we know... Like, they, they already said 2023 for Breath of the Wild 2. And I don't remember. I don't remember if they said specifically when in 2023 it's coming. My my expectation would be it would come in March, uh, at the very earliest, um, just because that's when the first one came out in March. Um, so it's, it says uh, for releasing this winter, and we know it's next year. Yeah, it's next uh, next year. Well, keep in mind, winter's gonna go through it. I think this direct will cover at least through January, most likely February as well. Uh, I think we're probably going to get another direct uh, sometime early to mid winter for stuff that's coming out like in spring uh so keep that in mind too uh though i wouldn't want a stay night vn to be on a switch because switch uh for switch port they would have to take out the age scenes tour is just having people buy stuff now instead of gotcha for it oh well that's easy i wonder if that's working out well for them or if they're just like too lazy to keep up with the gotcha aspect of it uh, i don't know either game explain just said they're getting rid of gotcha nas okay so bayonetta 3 near autonoma uh or near automata uh it's not wrong uh persona 3 4 and 5 uh, hey, Ryumiya, welcome in. How are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Switch is getting those because Sony have strict policy about loot stuff. So devs using the Switch to dump those games. Whichever console is the popular one, every generation always gets a whole bunch of like, like third-party releases that are uh, often shovelware and stuff like that. Uh, Mario Rabbit Stars of Hope Rayman DLC. We already know when Switch is getting five. Days for three and four are going to be announced for by Atlas later. Those were, uh, there were those rumors of us uh, GameCube fans being happy with the Direct. Do tell. Uh, let's see, you never experience the potential uh, damage reduction until, you're, until your old Byleth has taken an Abyssal Legendary Deirdre special to the face. Godlike Reflexes, X Burn, X Speed Smoke 7 is a privilege. Uh, I wasn't even using Flame. Nice. PlayStation still running more popular, almost three times as much. You sure? Have you looked at these sales numbers right now? 
the install base, and even like the even like the weekly sales. Like, hold on. Oops. I think Switch is Switch has already sold one hundred and four uh, one hundred and twelve million, even on a weekly basis. Okay, again, and, you know, not counting for the fact that the Switch released long before the PS5 and the Series X. Um, on a weekly basis, what's, what's what are these emails I'm getting here? <gasps> We're getting notifications on feedback. Oh my god! Anyway, uh, even on a weekly basis, uh, Switch is outselling the PS5. Uh, not by uh, not by a ton, but it's 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 enough that it's a comfortable lead. Uh, let's see here. Oh, actually, wait, well, okay, hold on. Wait, Kamal, what continent are you on? Because that actually does make a big difference. Uh, that might change. They've shot themselves in the foot with their reputation lately. Maybe we'll finally get a Genshin release today announced. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, yep, the price rise was low-key bad. It's not just uh, that, it's a lot of stuff. Sorry, ads got me. Switch Lite also popular. Uh, PS5 had a long time release struggles, so many people got a PS4 instead, especially since PS5 is mostly used for PS4 with better loading times anyway. Brazil? Okay, so I, they're actually not included on the sales chart here. But, so North America? Switch is outselling PS2 about 90... Uh, this is on a weekly basis. Uh, so this is just in the week of September 3rd. Um, Switch is... Uh, as uh, Switch sold about 98,000 uh, in North America that week. Uh, PS5 sold about 92,000. Uh, in Europe is where PS5 has a bit of a lead. They sold 83,000 versus the Switch's 74,000. Uh, Japan, Switch sold 98,000 to PS5's 20,000. Uh, they also sold 11 PS4s that week, like 11. Uh, and then worldwide, Switch sold 317,000. PS5 sold 236,000. So it's like, yeah, it's like a 3 to 2 ratio. But if you put the PS4. So worldwide, uh, they sold 236,000 PS5s and 2,994 PS4s. So not a lot of PS4s. Because they still sell those old man. Uh, not according to the sales numbers here. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping a new fake game or FGO on Nintendo Switch. Well, I wouldn't be against FGO on Nintendo Switch, but a man can dream. I mean, if we're dreaming, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff I would like. I would like every single Fire Emblem game released in English on the Switch. That's my dream. Uh, lying about games, the price increase while making the consoles cheaper to make, lying to regulators, trying to make Game Pass illegal despite having to be subscription services of their own. Honestly, they need to get rid of Jim Ryan. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the worldwide total should include Brazil, I'm, I'm assuming. But yeah, that's where we're at. So again, globally, for the week of September 3rd, Switch, 317,000. PS5, 236,000. Uh, Xbox, uh, Series X and S, 182,000. And then PS4, 2,994. And Xbox One, 267. Uh, I have Fate, X, Stella on Switch, and man, I have no idea what's going on. F the moon, I don't like warrior type games. Fate as in Fate, not F-E Fates. Okay, okay. It'll be interesting to see where the Switch ends up in sales. Because, again, it's got 132 million. I mean, it's, it's got a couple years left in its life, I assume. At least at least two years left in its life. But Nintendo's hoping for five more. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I don't know if they're in that in that announcement or that the claim that, like, oh, it's halfway through its life. I don't know if that would include, like, a Switch Pro at some point. Possibly. Like, would that count as part of the Switch family hey clarion welcome in how are you today welcome welcome uh we are gonna be doing uh some bay but not a ton of playing we're just gonna do some summons on the legendary banner and then uh we're just gonna take a look at the calendar and kind of plan out the next month of streams so not too much in terms of gameplay there but uh we're just gonna do some planning and do some summons let's see uh then why buy them i would love a fate extra cc remake report what should i summon on Oh, like banner-wise? Let's see. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. 
You guys didn't tell me how you switch. Alright, so we have a few banners going on. The one we're going to summon on stream today is the Legendary Remix banner. I don't know who should I go for, guys. Uh, it sounds like Julia got a better refine than Sothis. Uh, but who was also on this banner? So the reds are Sothis. Ooh, an Ascendant, guys. Actually, we have a few Ascendants on this banner. We have Ascendant Marita. I'm pretty sure I have Marita. Actually, let me pull this up on my iPad and look into who I have on here. So edit teams, rarity, and type. All right, so just using this here. Sothis and Marita should have both. Wait, Marita would be up here. Uh, yep, have Ascendant Marita. She's plus HP, though. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I, I have three Sothis. Julia and is this Ascendant Ishtar, I think? Yeah. Pretty sure I have Julia. Two Julia. And uh, I do have Ishtar. She's neutral. Uh, Hector and Lynn. I should have both. Uh, yep, we have two Hectors, and I have, should have a few lanes here, shouldn't I? Wait, what is her movement type? She's an infantry. Oh yeah, I'm, sorry, my thumb was literally covering her. My thumb was on top. Uh, and then Duma and Grima, sorry, Robin. Uh, we have them. We have two Duma and three Robin. Those are the important ones on my main... Uh, who should we summon for on the main then, I guess? YOLO for everyone. Um, Magic Pokemon Quest finally getting its Chinese version globally. I don't, uh, didn't know, I just saw Fate and was interested. Um, feels like the dude who bought new Pokemon Snap while saying he, how he hates Pokemon as a franchise. I think it was something... Gabden or something like that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Forgot about Snap. We gotta finish new Snap, because I think we just... We were, we were playing it, and then... I think my bad internet at the time kind of made streams kind of unwatchable, and then other stuff came out, so I think we kind of forgot about it. So we should we should go back at some point and play that. There's just no time anymore. There's just no time anymore. All right, but we will summon on that. Uh, maybe Chad can help me pick. Who would you guys say are the top three on this Legendary Remix banner? Let me check my 10 to see who I have and don't have. So we'll do our summons, and then we're just going to look at the calendar kind of plan out the next... Uh, month of streams. Alright, uh, Marita... I don't have Ascendant. And... We do have Sothis. Let's see, Julia and Ishtar. They're both mages, so... We have Julia, we don't have Ascendant Ishtar. So basically we don't have Ascendant so far. Do we have Hector and Lynn? Oops. No! Oh, shoot. I want to set that as my defensive team. There we go. Um, Hector, Hector, Hector. I don't have Legendary Hector on my 10. Do I have Lynn? I do have Lynn. So I'm missing Marita, Ishtar, Hector. We have Duma and we have Grima. Okay, so we're missing those three. Marita, Ishtar, and Hector. Let me check the iPad. Uh, I'm at a point where I'm no longer wanting to stay in university now. Uh-oh. That's... that's It's only September 12th credit. Um, yeah, my students are all... They're like about a month into the school year now. So... Uh, the elementary kids are, are starting the recorders already. We spent the entire day just to, today just t telling them how to like, put together and how to collapse a, uh, a portable music stand. Productive day. Um, middle school, the band is uh, uh, picking their instruments. Well, they already picked their instruments, but they're they're going to get their instruments soon and, and start. Um, and then in the high school, uh, we had our first competition. We hosted our first competition this past Saturday. And we are going oh, uh, to our first parade and first away competition starting on uh, Saturday. Uh, let's see. So this, so this, so this. Well, Vital Astra is always great fodder. Green is uh, dead weight duo. Uh, hey, Sheik Alex, welcome in. How are you doing today? 
Uh, yeah, I gave it to my Owain. He is my carry in Summer Duels. He was reviewing the game, but went on a rant at the start about how he hates Pokemon, and Pokemon is just all original garbage meant for children. Like, why buy a game if you know you're going to hate it? Are you? And he bought, this is while buying the game? Are we sure he wasn't just kind of being funny? Uh, all right, now i got to go back to play Fink right on. Okay, no worries, Polar. Have a great night. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, I'm going to bed. All right, Bobo, have a good one. Get some sleep. Enjoy the Nintendo Direct. Um... I don't, I can't, are they airing it live over there? I know, let's see. The UK is is not airing it live because it's uh, a day of morning, right? Uh, it's 4 a.m., good night. Well, some people play games just to create content. I talked with Tanuki in real life uh, once, and he really hates Fire Emblem. You'll never believe me, but his real name is not Tanuki as well, Sag. Yeah, guys, I sit on a throne of lies. Uh, the hell do you live? Uh, I'm fine. Good year. Welcome in. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Bobo lives in Europe. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, sleep is for the week. Stay walk. Stay walk? What? Uh, sleep is for the weekend. It's Tuesday. Yeah, guys, it's only Tuesday for people in Europe. It's Monday here. I'm already tired. Guys, I started stream at 8. Or actually, after 8. I started stream after 8 because I took too long of a nap. Because I'm tired. Um... Like, after, I, I, I think Nano signed off. I was like, all right, I'm just going to rest my eyes for a bit so that I'm, like, like awake, you know, for stream. And then next thing I knew, it was two hours later, I was like, oh, shoot, still the stream. Uh, Summer Charlotte, here I come. Hey, are you teaching at a public school or private school? Uh, public. So I do, I teach at different districts, too, so it's kind of a hassle there. I likely just Google whatever the Nintendo Direct and Sony State of Play mentions. If only there was someone here who knew what was going to be announced. Uh, was thinking of playing Summer Duels, but the mode is closed. Oh yeah, it's the end of the season. We know his name. It's Christian, and he runs the Chicago Mafia. Who is this Christian you speak of? Da, da. All right, guys. Uh, iPad. Let's see who I have on here. Uh, I was like, why is there these units showing? Okay. Uh, Marita. I have Ascendant Marita. And I have Sothis. Okay, good there. Um, mages, mages, mages. We have Julia, but no Ishtar. Uh, I should have Hector. Yep, we got Hector. And do we have Lin? Yes. And then... We have Duma, we have Grima. Okay, so the iPad is only missing Ishtar. And then the 10 is missing Marita, Ishtar, and Hector. So there we go, guys. Those are our summoning targets on the alts, the main accounts. Chat, who would you say the top three are on the uh, banner? Because my main has everyone. Although some of those, some of those IBs were not great. Actually, let's take a look again. Like, IV-wise, who would we want to... Upgrade. Marita's plus HP, so she's probably on that list. So this. We have res HP and res. Oh, those, none of those are great. Well, no, yeah, none of those are great. Um, where are my mages at? Kaizen, what's a good uh, IV or boon for Julia? We have HP and speed. I'm guessing neither of those are the best for her. Uh, Ishtar is, is neutral. Man, I feel like all of these we could, we could upgrade. Um, Hector, I have a neutral and a plus res. What the heck? Uh, Lin's plus attack. There we go. Of course, it's on Lin. Who's uh, very outdated. Um, Duma plus res plus attack. Grima plus speed plus speed plus HP. PayPass is lying to me. I've never unsubscribed, but it says I've been subscribed for uh, 17 months. <laughs> Guys, should I get the the sale? It's like I wouldn't have bought PayPass anyway, so it's not like I, so I'm actually losing money if I get it, but I'm losing less money. I'm not saving money. Now my Hilda plushie is eating dinner, chicken and rice. Oh, nice. What did I have for dinner? I don't even remember. Because this was before my nap. Um, 
I had chicken and pasta. That's right. <laughs> plus attack on Julia, plus res is second best, but you want plus attack. Okay. No, don't eat pay. <laughs> Uh, get it? It's absolutely worth three dollars, but that's three dollars. Guys, I'm on a teacher salary. We didn't even get a raise despite record inflation. Uh, it's ten percent inflation. We got zero raises this year. I'll buy it for you if you have to. But isn't it like? Wait, isn't there like a minimum number of months they said, or no? Or am I just remembering something wrong? Maybe it was Disney Plus, because Disney Plus is doing a sale. If you guys don't have Disney Plus, I think Disney Plus is as a sale right now. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. But so there's, there's something subscription-based where it's like, oh, you can get a, uh, the sale price, but you got to buy, like, it's three or six months minimum or something. I can't remember. But anyway, chat, let's summon before I forget who I'm missing on my alts. I want that $3 deal for the Fate Pass. Speaking of Disney, I did see the new... Pro oh, I gotta see that. Three per month for three months. I'll give you $9. Great movie, by the way. I I, I mean, I would assume it would be, because it's, it's Tom Hanks. Uh, I'm a pretty good clarinetist, it's just not the same after the breakup. Aww. Yeah, I should have probably actually just- Oh, you know, oh! That reminded me. Semester is not, uh, waiting though. Yeah. What are you guys, what are you guys, uh, working on right now? Music-wise, repertoire-wise. Um, I haven't played in a few months, I gotta- keep up with my car I got a green line because my my practice schedule now is so like intermittent so guys maintenance of a, a purely wooden clarinet in the Midwest where temperature changes all the time is not easy so yeah that's why I upgraded to a green line clarinet which I do I do love the green line clarinets hey Kaizen thank you for the nine dollar tip oh you know if you, you did ten dollars that you would have gotten a sound effect like a special sound effect Remember, guys, there is a special sound effect for $10. Uh, it's, it's intended to wake me up if I'm ever falling asleep on stream, which I am tired often. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a special sound effect for the $10. Do it. All right, guys, Kaizen donated $9. I said this was going to only happen when we got to 100 subs, but they did drop the price. Um, let's see. Clarinet, I hope you play better than Squidward. I would imagine that I, I, I would like to think I do. So, all right, we're buying this. Should I hide? Because it's gonna put post my my contact info when I do my Apple Pay here. Let's do this. Oh, that's right. My camera's not on the screen right now because like we, my DSLR doesn't work yet. So I am gonna downgrade my uh, operating system for a little bit. Uh, probably this week. I was supposed to do it by four today, but we didn't have the time. All right, Kaizen. Let's see. Read the entirety of the scrolling text. Yada 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 yada. Wait. How come it's still 9:49? Wait, Kaizen, is this one of the good days to buy it or no? Cuz are there certain days that are like not good to buy it? Uh, let's see. Look in the south I have an R13. Yeah, I have a uh, it's an R13 green line. Uh, kind of I hope you play over that. Had an ad miss what you said. Uh Let's see, I asked, what are you working on repertoire-wise? And then I said that I have an R13 green line. I don't know what else I said. <laughs> Let's see, there's not such, there's, there's no such thing as a as good day. Any day that isn't the 10th or 25th. Okay, so we're fine buying it now. Let's 
But how come it says 949? Let me see. You'll always get three resplendent. No, you won't. Don't spread misinformation. Hold on. It's loading. Wait, it says 949 per month. Do I have to go somewhere special for this? Canceled. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Just finished up. Saint Saint Movement Four was a doozy. Yeah, that one's that one's a doozy. Um, I haven't played that one in a while. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Where do I go for this? You're getting the pay pass. Kaizen donated nine dollars, so I gotta buy it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Where do I go? Let me come back for a second because I don't know where to go. So like, I go to pay pass, and it's the bottom here. It says it's still nine forty nine, and when I uh, go here, it still says nine forty nine per month. I'm not sure if there's an opus number I can get uh, get for you, or if you just know. No, I know. I can tell the one you're referring to. I know the one. Oops. Yeah. So it's still nine forty nine per month. So don't update iOS, it blocks Faye. Uh, I've been on iOS 16 for a month. So it, it's fine. Clearly it doesn't blo block Faye. It's cool that you just know. Oh I, yeah, I had to play that one in college. Um, yeah. Check message notification. Oh, I have to go through that one? Okay. Gotcha. So while we're doing this, since we're not summoning quite yet, let me just auto do some uh, TT. This, you know what sucks though? Because um, I have three separate accounts, only one of them will probably get the benefits of Fate Pass, which is kind of annoying. So let's the multiplayer and forging bonds real quick. Oh, let's do those first. Let me do that on my alts. Uh, notifications. The key change in page three haunts me. Uh, they put out things saying don't update. Uh, we've confirmed cases in which Fire Heroes does not start after upgrading to O16. For the time being, please refrain from upgrading your device to O16 in order to keep playing. Uh, it works for me just fine. I'm on iOS 16. So, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's certain models. Like, I, they don't sp say any details here, but maybe it's like certain older models, possibly. Ooh, wait. Well, no, because it's the same phones that support 16 are the ones that support 15. So I don't imagine do pay pass through your email. Got it. Okay. Well, let me find that. <laughs> pay pass. Uh, Summon a special offer on pay pass. Let's see. Two ninety nine per month for the first three months, and get the most out of Fire Heroes. Your favorite subscription will then renew at nine forty nine per month until can. Ooh, that means if they cancel it in three months or less. Da -da -da. I played Movement Four for solo class in front of everyone. It was not a great run. Was this a um like a, a shoot? I'm blanking. I don't know what it's called. A studio class. Where you're just kind of like getting commentary and stuff. Still got through it, but my mouth dries out so fast, even when I bring water into the green room. Yeah, no, I know the feeling. Not when it's so much I play. I usually played fine, but uh, the, the feeling of your mouth drying out, it's a tale all too common for me with my Invisalign. So. Also, guys, we fell down to 1,899 followers, so it looks like someone unfollowed. Or either that or closed their Twitch account. Uh, even, if, even if only temporary, uh, when someone does that... Uh, we, we lose followers. So, guys, if you know any friends, feel free to invite them to follow the stream. We stream every day here. Mostly Fire Emblem. Um, yeah, we're 1899 followers. Or if anyone has an alt, that'd be cool, too. Um, let's see if I can buy this here. Subscribe now. Open App Store. Oh, I'll have to do it on through email on my phone. All right, hold on. Hold on. 
Let me do this, and then I'll just put the iPad on there for a little bit while I pull up the email on my phone. Uh, Faye Pass. Open the email. There we go. Um... Yeah, Stu, what, did I, what are some of the ones, uh, my favorite ones that I played? I don't even remember. This was so long ago, guys, because I'm old. I'm not old. You didn't hear that. All right, subscribe now. Uh, what reads do you use? Um, um, V12s. Uh, Vendor and Silverbox 4s. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I use, I use, I use 4s. Um, the V12 specifically. No, wait, no, I don't. Do I use the V12s? I have V12s. I think I'm currently using Rulipec. That's what it is. Yeah. I have V12s. And here, let me just see if I can find the one. Clarinet reads. I mean, they're all Van Doren. Are you familiar with that one? The Rulipec ones? Oh, by the way, guys, did you know that Coles carries clarinet reeds? I don't know why that's a thing, but Coles. And like, as I, so there's a, there's a, there's a uh, moment in the show Friends where, uh, or Joey's searching for a gift, uh, like a, a birthday gift for his girlfriend, and, um, uh, what was it? What was he buying? I can't remember what he was buying, but he was it was like, oh man, no, it's it's so expensive. Or, no, no, it wasn't so expensive. It was so hard to find. Uh, he was like, oh, it's so hard to shop for your girlfriend for you know for a girlfriend. And then because uh, he he finally found something, he bought something. He was like, oh man, it was so hard to find something for her. And then Chandler picks up the shopping bag from the da from the table. It's like, yes. Yes, it is at Office Max. So I I, I made a copy of that uh, that uh, scene. Um, I'm sorry, I screenshotted it for a meme. And I was like, uh, uh, like, like a student, why are or or sorry, oh man, reeds are so expensive. And then, and then the next scene, yes, yes, they are at Kohl's. At Kohl's. Um, is old cover. I'm not. I'm not old. I don't know what you're saying. You having Fate Pass will make TT and 4G months so much easier to sit through. Really, what well, this was a gift to the community, but this is only for three months, guys. Um, yeah, because otherwise it's gonna go to 9.49 per month after that. Ice cream store. Wait, ice cream store. What are you? What are we talking about? Um, 51 or 53 black box. Black box. Yeah, black box. Uh, Coles. Yeah, Coles. I, uh, I. I'll see if I can find the screenshot. I'll post it in Discord. I was surprised to see him at the Guitar Center. At least that's a music store, though, right? right? You know, so I can I can see that. That's not the first place I check, but yes, I could I could understand seeing it at a music store. But Kohl's, like, yes, I'm talking like department store guys. Um, I, I don't like I don't know if I were to pull it up right now and if, if it's still there. Actually, I'll, I'll let me see if I can do that in a moment here. But let me see. Redeem offer two ninety nine for three months and nine forty nine a month. Redeem offer. Um, so guys, Kaizen is getting us. Fee pass. Is there tax on this? Let's see. If I at some point cancel this and then renew it within and then sign up again within a month, because uh, I, I like when my subscriptions start on the first, you know, um, but no, this is fine uh, for now. All right. Face ID. I'm assuming no tax. Doesn't look like tax. Uh, let's see. Right, and Chandler gave a more thoughtful gift and swapped his for yes, jo yeah, Chandler because Chandler, spoiler alert, was in love with Joey's girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the ice cream store, or is there a different place named Coles? Oh yeah, Coles is a is a department store. Um, so like 
clothes and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Korean's got the spelling. Uh, department store in the U.S. not doing so well. I, they they've survived a bit longer than some of the uh, the bigger ones. Like, um, well, what was his name Ron Johnson? I think, but uh, he kind of killed off J.C. Penney. Um, Montgomery Ward died out like 15 years ago or so. You guys remember Montgomery Wards? Uh, I think Sears is mostly, if not all, completely gone. Um, Macy's, I think, is still around, but they've downsized considerably. But, yeah, Kohl's is still around, but they're... Uh, yeah, you're right. I, pr I probably imagine they're hanging on by a thread. All right, so do we have Fate Pass now here? Hold on. Let's see. Kohl's is an ice cream store in Seattle. I was genuinely confused for a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, where do you guys go for ice cream if you go out for ice cream? Um, there is a Cold Stone here. It's like it's like 20 minutes away, though. I don't want to drive 20 minutes for Cold Stone. Um, there used to be a Baskin Robbins nearby. Uh, there's still some around. There's frozen yogurt places around, too. Ron Johnson, I think you went Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. Imagine if Ron Swanson took over jc penny or just any like giant department store uh, actually um uh nick offerman he's actually from around here like in the area uh suburban chicago although he was a bit further south i think he's from okina so mokina is actually right next like the town next to where i student taught um so i did uh my i did the junior high part of my student teaching over in uh uh shoot what was it what was the name of the city Yeah, it was a little bit further southwest, like when where the the communities are still kind of expanding outward and the communities are still growing. Whereas closer into the city, everything's kind of set size wise and community size wise. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm blanking on the name of the city, even though it's like right here. It's Liberty Junior High. Hold on. Liberty Junior High. New Lennox. There we go. I student taught in New Lennox. Mokina's like right there. Uh, actually, we do. Uh, I do go to uh, Mokina from time to time because uh, for our teacher institute days, they sometimes take us. I like just like a team building kind of thing over at this place in uh, Mokina where we can do like go kart racing, indoor go kart racing. We can do axe throwing. We've done that there um, and other stuff. I uh, hope FE4 gets remade in the following years. It gets uh, Neuron and Faye. She's my favorite crusader, uh, mainly because of her being the first owner of the Gabolg and the story with her family. I think we will see a uh, FE4 remake at some point because, again, we've gotten Shadow Dragon, uh, Mystery of the Emblem, or at least Book 2, and, um, uh, and then uh, Shadows of Valentia. So I think we are going to get, uh, you know, I think we're going to get four at some point. Five, six, seven, eight. I think those will all be remade at some point in 3D. Actually, I think we are going to get another Mystery of the Animal remake at some point. Like, hopefully a book one and book two, like an like a full-on remake of Mystery of the Animal on Super Famicom with some of the upgrades they did in uh, the DS generation. Obviously upgraded to whatever console this is eventually for, but I think we will get that at some point. Uh, what school level do you teach? K through... Well, okay, not really K through, but uh, 3 through 12. Um, I do work at a K through 2 school, but only as a tech lead, like IT guy, basically. Um, but then I teach grades 3 through 5, 6 through 8, and then 9 through 12. Um, which is hell. <laughs> uh, I, I Don't get me wrong, I love teaching music, but having to treat, teach at multiple schools and different types of music classes at each school it's kind of annoying it information tech so but just like basically i'm the tech lead so i, I do things like uh things with like computers and ipads and i refuse to work significantly with their our chromebooks because i hate uh chromebooks they're they're just basically chrome uh, sorry they're google branded netbooks and netbooks suck it's not i don't have anything against google hardware specifically but they're netbooks, which are just like cheap laptops. It can't do anything on them, guys. Uh, I go to Sonic. I don't think I've been to Sonic, even though we have we have a couple around here, but not a ton. Um, but yeah, we have we have a Dairy Queen. I've, go, I've gone there for Blizzard sometime. We have a Cold Zone. It's a little bit further out. Um, 
we have frozen yogurt. We have a TCBY so like nearby. I haven't been there in a while. Uh, six to eight is hard, huh? Uh, the behavior's a bit better than three through five, uh, at least for me. Um, but the attention. So three through five, they're just like on sugar all the time. They're, they have the attention span. Uh, they're like their mind just goes from th like thing to thing. Like, like it's like you can't just hold their attention for that long. And with with junior high, they just don't care. <laughs> um, now I'm good in that like it's music, so I I, th I feel like I have a bit easier of a job trying to you know keep them entertained, keep them interested, which because uh, they, they like a lot of stuff that we cover. But again, it's still junior high. Just uh, questioning what you did in it. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so I teach uh, general music for six to eight. Like that's a new thing this year because they're like, oh, we want to add music to uh, the junior high because before they only had uh, band. Um, and I was like, all right, well, uh, thanks for you know giving me a choice. All right. Yeah, they were this summer. I was just getting email. Uh, oh, Christian. Yeah. So uh, in, an, in an effort to you know bring more specials to the. Uh, to our elementary schools and, and junior highs, uh, you're also going to now teach music, and then the uh, junior high art teacher is going to go teach at the elementary school. And I was like, "Do I get a say in this?" I uh, already got a Three Houses remake, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Half price drinks with the app, yes, please. Go to Black Sheep Ice Cream, but it's mostly for their milkshakes. Ooh, you know who has good milkshakes? Uh, if you guys come to Chicago, uh, come to Portillo's. Amazing milkshakes. Um, I usually got their strawberry ice, ice cream, uh, sorry, milkshakes before, uh, but then I discovered their chocolate cake shakes. Uh, I'll post a video in, in the Discord if you guys want, haven't seen this. But they take literally a double fudge chocolate cake, and they take a slice of it, put it in the cup with vanilla ice cream, blend it up, and that is their milkshake. It is a chocolate cake shake, uh, and it is amazing. Don't get it super often, because that'll be, uh, you know just diabetes waiting to happen but it's amazing and then oh my gosh for for valentine's month they take the chocolate cake shake and put strawberries in there so it's a strawberry chocolate cake shake and it's amazing oh my gosh um posted the black cheap shake in the food channel okay we'll check the guys we'll just post all our food in the food channel if you got genealogy remake i hope the bug where julia mary's self stays in the game no 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 that's not supposed to be in there kamal <laughs> it's not supposed to be in there um we're still somehow the only crusader we have uh, post a black sheep shake. I read that. Uh, feel like you're a good streamer to hang around for, uh, for me, Tanuki. I can prod you for industry info. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I feel like Kamal generally tries to get into trouble. They get uh, the problem student of the year award. Uh, I took an elementary methods class and I didn't really mesh with it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I mean for teaching? I thought you meant like game industry secrets. Because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> uh, not my good kid. Might want to make a backup account in case Twitch bans you. They ban people for far less. I uh, hate that you didn't get a choice as to what you're teaching. Other subjects don't get that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. But still, though. It, I mean, it's not so much the, like the, the fact that I'm teaching another general music class. It's the fact that I have to drive between four schools every week. Um, Thursdays and Fridays, especially during marching band season, I travel between three schools in a single day. And then four schools over the course of the week. Uh, banned in a lot of streams, but never got a ban from Twitch. Uh, the arts are underappreciated. So I feel like at least, though, in Illinois, it, Illinois does consider it a core subject, uh, even though it's still treated by schools in terms of like how they organize their classes. It's still treated as either an extracurricular or as a special in the lower grades. So it's still required, but it's not. It's it, it's a I mean, you, I'm sure you guys had like similar situations where it was a special in elementary school and it was uh, treated differently than like music. Like, it, was a, it was a specialized class, let's put it that way. And then, and at the uh, at the high schools, especially, it's more of an elective. But uh, it is still considered a, a core subject, at least in Illinois. Can't imagine doing elementary and marching band. Oh, it's yeah. And here's the thing: because I'm su such like an above and beyond kind of person. Um, the amount of work I put into like the marching band stuff, like again, the video, so the video work, I fi we film from a drone above, like overhead, and then I film from the press box using my DSLR. Because my drone doesn't do audio, so I kind of mix it together. Um, and what I do is I take our drill app, 
It's called the uh, UDB Ultimate Drill Book, and they have the animations in on the drill. I overlay it using video editing software onto the drone video so that we can exact we can see exactly in real time. Here's where the student's supposed to be, and here's where they were, uh, and they can and we actually showed them that video today. Uh, so it, it's, that's a new thing I'm doing this year because uh, I haven't done that before. I overlaid the drill. Can't imagine doing elementary and more. Yeah, just remember, Kamal, there are kids watching, so try to behave and not do stuff that would get you put on the watch list. And remember, Kamal, this also gets put on uh, on YouTube. Guys, if you can, um, open up my Twitch uh, VOD playlist on YouTube and just let it run in the background all the time because it helps the view count. Uh, all right, guys, <laughs> can we summon? Do I have Fate Pass now? Let's see. Wait. Do I have Fate Pass or no? How do I know? Or do I have to reopen the app? Reload the app? All right, hold on. In my intermediate, you take art and music together. In middle school, you have to take some kind of art class and one third of that is band shared with drama and art class. Okay. Yeah, when I was in elm or when when I was in middle school, I should say, um, no elementary school, it was like a special, and then like so every class would go to that. Uh, I think we went twice a week, maybe three times a week, and then middle school, it was a quarterly. So like, because at that point we had like you know schedules. You got a resplendent hero as a fate pass benefit, guys. We got resplendent. Ephraim. Dun, da, 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 da. When you're in middle school, so it's when you're. That's what you got, Tyson. Uh, it all are calling out students with a drone. Uh, I would hate that. Hey, we have technology now. We have technology. Everything is tech. We have our our drill is on an app. I can probably show you actually. Um. Actually, no. I probably shouldn't show you because if I click on any student by accident, it shows their like full name and all that. So I probably can't show you that. Um. But yeah, all our drill is on uh, an app. All our music now for pep band. Oh, guys, get this. So for those of you who are in band, you guys would like, this will blow your minds. So there's an app called Beam, made by the same people that make the our drill app. It's called Beam. It's got all their music in there, which I mean, you could do with a PDF reader, of course. Um, but it's got all their pep band music in there. But here's the cool thing, using a mesh network. So you don't even need like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Well, I guess, I guess you kind of need. You need them on, even if you don't have a, like, a Wi-Fi connection. You need those uh, on. But if you're connected to the app at the same time as the director, and the director pulls up, uh, let's say they pull up uh, the school uh, fight song on their phone or their iPad, it automatically pulls up on all the students' uh, devices. And if they switch over to, um, so what's a popular pep tune? Uh, hey Baby, or Rock and Roll Part 2, or whatever. If they pull it up on their device, the director pulls up on their device, it's automatically on all the students' devices. Automatically. So there's no more like, all right, guys, pull this up, pull this up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And everyone's like, oh, I got to get my flip folder. Oh, I got to put to this page. What page is it on? The director just pulls it up. All right, we're going to go on this one next. And then there's like, all right, let's go, guys. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. And then uh, everyone's playing it. There's no delay now, which it's amazing. We've, we've done two football games this year, and the number of songs we can now play because there's no delay in just getting the music up. It's amazing. So, uh, it was about seven years ago for me. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we got we got Resplendent Ephraim now, guys, because uh, Kaizen bought us Fay Pass. Uh, oh, thank you for the hydrate, come on. And the posture check. I'll do that in a moment. I am sitting on my left leg. <sighs> this is during games. Yeah, this is during football games. Um, although it could potentially be used in other uh, classes. The issue is that because it is on their own personal devices, um, I don't know how, if we would want to be doing that in class. Because, like, I mean, we use it in marching band because uh, we trust our kids mostly to, like, not be too distracted with things like texting or, or other stuff on their phones. And, I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty good about it because, you know, it's marching band. They're, they're voluntarily there. So they're going to, you know, they're going to be focused. And it, obviously, if they need to do, like, an emergency text or, like, maybe their, their parents contact them, like, oh, hey, I need to respond to this. You know, we don't mind like one thing here or there, but as long as they're staying focused most of the time, they're pretty good about it. Uh, don't know if we could trust the general band with that yet. So, 
Um, let's see, mystical was yesterday for me. Uh, you might be too young for Twitch then, come on. Uh, let's see, I remember, man, you go. Remember when me and Nuknut used Christian's birthday and zodiac symbol in events that occurred in high school to determine his age while he uh, played Radiant Dawn and grinded versus the boss for two hours? Oh, that was a fun two hours. Was that the one where I like uh, ASMR'd after midnight? Oh, thank you for the posture check. Um, Fae Brigade, Tiki? Wait, what are we doing with Fae Brigade? My school never allowed us uh, phones and stands, as you know. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Of course, especially back then when it was like new. Or like newer, I shouldn't say new, because like phones have been around for a while. Um, people, you know, people are like, oh, we can finally use phones. And then they'll use it forever. That was a lot of the concern that our other directors had. I was pushing for this uh, change like over to the apps for a, long, for a long time, for the drill app. I was pushing for this for a long time because the tech the, the tech benefits just outweighed everything else. Uh, everyone else was worried, oh, what if they use it for texting? What if they use it for other stuff? Um, and I, I, I was adamant that we at least tr give it a try. And so we tried it out with, I think, the clarinets and it was either the flutes or the mellows, mellow phones. I can't remember, but it was definitely clarinets because they were the largest section at the time. So we trialed it out with them. Uh, it went it went fine. Um, if anything, the kids actually try to use it only when they have to. Uh, their phones only when they have to because otherwise their phones run out of battery during rehearsal. So uh, they're pretty good about not doing other stuff and only pulling it up uh, when they need the app to check their, their drill stuff. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. We actually stood attention during competition awards and we're, uh, we're told when we could cheer. There are some schools here that do that. Um, they're not a ton though, but there are some schools in the area in Illinois here. So Texas, Mar no, I get it. Yeah, it's Texas. Um, Texas marching band scene, guys. Um, like Illinois is pretty competitive, pretty into competitive marching band. Um, Texas, whole nother level. You also guys, you guys also have like really good high school stadiums. We do not. We do not. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was the ASMR stream. Wait, I didn't even say that. Yes, you did. I saw it. Uh, let's see. I'm on the last chapter of Radiant. Oh, congrats. Need a bo motivation to keep going. Uh, uh, what would we say, chat? Because Radiant Dawn is still my favorite uh, Fire Emblem game. Now, this Nuki is old because he got an N64 for Christmas. So, <laughs> uh, don't ask Christian. He took a year to beat it. No, 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 no. That was hard mode, and uh, that's because Three Houses came out when we were, we were playing it. You read another comment. You literally said, "Man, he's old." <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we have Fate Pass now in the main because because uh, Kaizen bought us Fate Pass. Uh, let me. Get some of this out of the way here on my own. We haven't summoned yet. <laughs> oh, that's right, guys. Ooh, we have the Fate Pass like awards now. So we can get all this stuff. Guys, Fate Pass is uh, $3 and Kaizen bought us three months. That is $9 that Kaizen probably should not be spending right now. Just saying. All right, uh, let's do some 40 buttons. Wait, what should I do more, like, first? Forging Bonds or Tempest Child? Probably Forging Bonds. Yeah, let's finish that. My flame won't flicker. And then, let's do some summons. It's 9.41. This is the time that my my phones actually say when plugged in, because for some reason, whenever plugging into Mac OS, my mobile devices always say it's 9.41. I don't know why. Uh, now you can redeem Sparks and Legendaries. Eh. All right, hold on, actually. The stream I was lurking on my, oop. Restart, the heck is this? What does restart cost us? Is this infinite? What's going on here? Oh, we can't beat, we can't win this. That's, that's, yeah, surrender. Oh, restart the turn. Uh, shouldn't have spent it because I'm broke, but the community doesn't deserve to be punished through you grinding forging bonds manually for six hours. Wait, so how? Wait, hold on. What? I can do this? What? Wait, does it just. Does it still play through it? Or do it. Like, because that's kind of the fun of it, just kind of watching what happens. I'm on fire. I wish I had it on my alts. I wish it was connected all to my same iOS account. 
Let's see what happens. I've never seen this here. Stage clear. Perish. All right, that's okay. <laughs> we start as no cost. Okay, but it's just the one turn, right? Uh, I need to check how long they will keep the promotion going because I may buy it for a splendid chicken. Hey. I think I said 12 more days. I think it was 12 more days. Well, Kaizen, I have three alts. Check it out. Or three accounts, I should say. No, three alts. So, all right. Give me a second. I actually got to do something on my iPad here. Can't give you 18 more dollars, like I said, I'm broke. Wait, what are we talking about? Eighteen dollars. Who's doing what now? Uh, oh, we still have to do the story stuff. This is a rerun, so I don't need to actually watch these. Let's go rescue my brother. All right. That's why I'm so afraid of Shadow Drop tonight. Uh, shoot me a message later. I, cannot I don't need BG charts up anymore. Let's go rescue my brother. Let me see here. All right. Uh, you said I got you Fate Pass and then you have two more accounts. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have those tied to... Well, you have tied to an uh, Apple account, but I don't have it tied to, like, Apple... Or do I have it tied to Apple Pay? Maybe I do, but I don't want to... I don't want to use it to buy anything because that's a separate... Wait, no. They're still tied to my same... They're still tied to my same Apple account. But I don't think Faye is tied to it because I like when I buy stuff on my main phone, at least for like Fire Emblem Heroes, it doesn't apply to like, the other things. Like if I buy orbs, it's it always goes to the, that correct account. I don't know how it works. I'll have to check. But anyway, okay. Okay, well apparently it's all done. <laughs> so chat, shall we summon? Shall we summon? Not Tempest Trials right now. Summon. Although it looks like I do have to finish my bonuses there. I'll be back. Gotta do a Macca's run. That's McDonald's. This is Australian for McDonald's chat. Trey reloading an alt. And eh, not right now. <laughs> not right now. Um, let's do some summons. Uh, let me finish that one and then let's just summon. I will re reload an alt later on. Because, again, it's tied to... I assume when we do it through the, uh, the email, it's tied to that Faye account. I mean, I'll try and reload one, but I don't know what'll happen. Let's, I guess, find out. But otherwise, we're gonna summon. All right, you go enjoy the McDonald's. I've not been to a McDonald's guys in like 15 years. Although apparently, we're gonna be doing an IRL stream at some point where I basically go to McDonald's for a for a McFlurry or whatever it is, uh, a Wendy's for a Frosty, uh, DQ for a Blizzard. Uh, does Cold Stone still have those Nintendo ice cream things? So, chat wanted me to do that at some point. Alright, I wonder if Clarion finished that, uh, or how far they are in that chapter right now. Miss DQ. I mean, I only ever went there for blizzards. Although, I actually, wait, that's a lie. I did, uh, have their ice cream cake before. Not, not by myself, but... <laughs> Let me just take care of this real quick before I forget. All right, let's summon chat. Probably should have done this before Yuko left for McDonald's. But let me see. Do we have Fae Pass? New quests. Wait, new quests have been added. Have I not checked this in a while? Fae Pass. Yeah, see, I can't claim these. So... Yeah, so this would require a separate link. 
of those. All right. All right, so my main has all the units on the banner. My 10 is missing Marita, Ishtar, and Hector. And my iPad is missing Ishtar. Uh, did you do 40 summons on any banners? Not recently. I did it on the, uh, the Lilith banner, but that was, I'm pretty sure, long gone. Let's summon. Let's summon. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? Shall we summon? Shall we summon? My right, chat. I call like half the people in the chat left before summons. <laughs> By the way, summer niffle double special is in the next few months. You can spark for the B skill for. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because we did get one uh, uh, summer niffle, but again, I'm not gonna fodder my only one. Uh All right guys. My let's come back to my main first. Let's look at the alt here. So my 10 and let's do the iPad first. The iPad is only missing Ishtar, so we're going to go for blue. That's the only one missing. Let's do the 10, which is this one here by the mic. iPhone 10 Alt. Let's not do colorless, because we have both colorless. Let's do red for Marita. Ascendant Marita. Uh, green for... Uh, legendary Hector. What is Hector even good for anymore? Uh, blue for Ascendant Ishtar. All right, chat. I'll give you two minutes. I'll give you two minutes on this poll because we don't have to pull on everything. Uh, enjoy the peace of mind that comes with more sparks. It's great for your mental health. But that means we also have to spend orbs on the way to the spark. Uh... I will just tie the first pole because I need to go to the bathroom. Can you tie the other ones for me, Kaizen? Pretty please. Don't tie the pole. Turns Faye from gambling into planning. It removes the luck aspect. But that's also spending orbs. No, <laughs> I thought you were my friend, Sag. Uh, all right, guys, cast your vote. Uh, 
All right, guys, cast your phone. Uh, I'm not going to be an additional menace. Christian has enough to deal with in his classroom. Classrooms. <laughs> All right, this is for the 10. Again, the iPad is going to be doing blue because we uh, don't have Ishar. Ishar is the only one we don't have on the iPad. The 10 is missing one each of all the colored ones. So Marita, Hector, or Ishtar. And then the iPad. All right, we have ties. So let's do... Hmm, who do I want more? Probably not the Hector. Um... I'm going to go blue, and here's why. Because there's Marita, but also the blue would give us not only a chance at Ishtar, but a chance at Julia, who I hear has a good refine. And there are other Ascendants that are blue that I don't have that I already really want, like a Dune. Huh? Huh? Do Julia? That sounds dirty. Uh, she's worth the trust. Uh, we need additional menace for he pre be prepared for the classroom. I'm trying to be I'm trying to. You're like so like uh, I have other t uh, friends who teach middle school and they're like they t they just take no crap from their students. It's actually quite quite impressive. I don't think this banner will have off focus. Damn it! You're right. Uh, but yeah, we can get Julia though. Only for focus and four star specials. Hey, four star specials are good too, though. Um, Julia's best on the banner trust. But again, we have Julia on that account on that uh, ten, iPhone 10 already. So, um, this char is the one we would want, at least on that account. All right, so we'll go blue there. Uh, let's do a poll for the main because now the main I have everyone, um, but almost all of them have horrible IVs. So. Oh, I have to uh, refresh that. Kind of choosing blue as my payment for the pay pass. Well, you guys got to vote for it in the, the main account here. Main account has one of uh, each of the colored ones and two colorless. iPhone 12 main account. Uh, uh, let's see. Blue for Ascendant Ishtar. Left colorless. Grima, Grima. I can't even type the whole word of Grima. Um, right colorless, Duma, Grima, green for. Uh, oh, I should probably say Ishtar or Julia. Hector, Lynn, and red for. Ascendant Marita, so this. All right, guys, cast your vote. iPhone 12 main account, main account. Lolly Dragons are always the best, so I'll go for red, so this. Might as well go blue since the others are going blue anyways. That's not how it works. Stop being a predator in front of the kids. I mean, stop being a predator in public. <laughs> there is that. But yeah, guys, cast your vote. Uh, are we going to have time for the calendar? I think we sh should, but it's already getting almost 10. I was hoping to not go too late today, because I, here's I got to roll back my... Hey! Wiener Dog... Wait, a sin of the fifth. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. That's a very uh, long but interesting name there. How are you doing today? Thank you for the raid. How is your stream? Uh, for anyone new in the chat, even if you're, uh, if, even for those who have been on here already, uh, if this is your first time here, my name is Christian. I stream every day on this channel. This is day 1,418 in a row. We mostly stream Fire Emblem, whether it's uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, Three Houses, Three Hopes, or, or even older Fire Emblem games. I'm a huge fan of Fire Emblem. You can see here, this is a picture of my Fire Emblem collection as of uh, January 2018. So about four and a half years ago, almost five years ago. Um, I can't take a new, uh, I haven't taken a new picture since then because uh, my collection is too big for a single room now. It's about six or seven times bigger than this. Uh, my latest estimates based on the number, number of boxes. Um, but you can see an updated uh, version of this photo. Not, oh, wait, sorry. Let me start over. You can see a bigger version of this photo by typing exclamation point collection in the chat. It takes you to Imager. Um, but if you want to see some of the, some of the newer stuff I've gotten, because obviously this photo was even taken before Three Houses came out. 
Um, if you want to see some newer stuff, follow me on social media, like my Instagram. I do post pictures of newer, newer things I get on there as well. We do stream other Nintendo games from time to time. Uh, we are, are currently playing through Stanley Parable, but we just finished a run of Xenoblade 3. Uh, after that, we'll be playing some uh, Splatoon 3 and Bayonetta 2 because I want to finish that before October when we have Nier Automata, Persona 5 Royal, and Bayonetta 3. So, so welcome in. Uh, can we get a shout out, please? For Wiener Dog, a Sin of the Fifth. Uh, blue it is. All right, I guess we're summoning blue. Chat, let's get those little emotes in the chat, please. Uh, I have an email. Another one? What do I have? By your Amazon Japan order. Which one? I wanted to let you know there may be a delay with a shipment in this order. What order are we talking about? This isn't a phishing email, is it? Oh, this order? Hold on. No. No, yeah, this order. My Three Hopes uh, strategy guide from Japan is running late. Uh, hi, I was the other person streaming Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh, wait, is there, is there no one else streaming Fire Emblem Heroes right now? Uh, I was trying to raid you, but I couldn't figure out how. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the raid. Um, how was your stream? Everyone, uh, or, or Wiener Dog, the sin of the fit. Can I just call you Wiener Dog for now? Um, let me know what you prefer to be called. Um, but uh, yeah, if you stream a lot of Fire Emblem, everyone give a follow. I'll give you a follow myself here. Um, but yeah, again, I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. Probably have the, one of the largest collections, if not be, the biggest Fire Emblem collection in the world. Uh, let me see here. Follow. There we go. Guys, give Wiener Dog a follow. Streams a lot of Fate too. Um let's see here. I had to spend channel points to combat Kamal trying to troll. Thank you for that. Um but hey, you got a lot of channel points, so you're fine. Uh oh yeah, thank you that for that guys. And yeah, and then uh, I think uh Rimiya posted it as well earlier. So yeah, if you want to see that uh, photo where you can kind of zoom in and check out the collection. Again, that photo was taken before Three Houses came out. And there's been a lot of stuff that's come out since then. But uh I would need a gym at this point, so, like a school gym. Luckily, I have access to those. Bum -ba -dum -bum -ba. All right. But yeah, guys, um spam those little thing notes. Thank you Kaizen for doing so. Uh, if you guys want some cool Fire Emblem emotes to use on Twitch, uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. Uh, right now we're down to 36 subs. We don't get uh, paid by Twitch in like two or three days uh, if we don't reach a certain threshold because they require a certain amount of earnings to be earned over their time. Uh, when does the museum open? Uh, when I can pay for one. Um, but yeah, you get some cool Fire Emblem emotes here if you hit that sub button. Uh, let me show you, for example, let me just show you all the ones we have here. Da, da, da. A lot of Fire Emblem emotes that you can get by subscribing to the channel, help support the channel. Um, and you can also, uh, okay, so you get the emotes to use on Twitch. You can access our, our sub only channel on Discord. Um, you also, guys, did you know this? If you sub on a channel on Twitch, you can use the emotes in iMessage on your iPhone as like a sticker. As long as you have Twitch installed on your phone, go into iMessage and you have this little app icon where you can like choose photos, you can choose other like like phone apps. There's a Twitch one there. If you click on that, you have all your Twitch uh, sub emotes that you have access to. You can use them as stickers in iMessage. Did you guys know this? Um, but fine, I guess. I peeked at three viewers, but thanks so much for... Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, I just came in and you saying uh, to shout out to Wiener Dog. I was very surprised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we love to support uh, anyone who uh, drops in, and especially if they're a streamer. Uh, whether or not they're rating or if it's just hanging out, we'll, we'll, uh, we're happy to shout you out and support fellow uh, fellow Fire Emblem streamers. Just got the game yesterday. Ooh, how are you liking it so far? Um, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoy I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. I'm like... I'm like knee deep in this franchise, so I kind of have to keep playing. But I mean, I enjoy the game enough, so it's 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 good to enjoy what you play. <laughs> um, just uh, let's see, it's just getting good for me right now. It's the difficulty. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah, that'll happen as you go through the story there. 
Also, ignore Kamal's advice. They were trying to ruin your account. Uh, if you ever want help with the game or Discord, yeah, feel free. Um, and again, you can join our Discord, uh, exclamation point, Discord. There you go. A big Firewall community there if you ever need help with uh, the game or have questions or if you're just not sure or if you want like tips on like how to build units. Also, your dog is fine. So I prefer. I really enjoy giving people a stroll with my name. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I, was, I was like, ooh, long name. I was like, let's see, how do I read this again? How do I read? Um, my advices are always the best. Ignores Kaizen advice. Ooh. Which side? It's like Civil War. Team Iron Man, Team Cap. But alright guys, again, spam those little emotes as Kaizen did just a moment ago. Uh, we're going to apparently try to summon Blue on all these accounts. On the alts, we're trying to get Ishtar. On the main, we might try to get Julia. We'll see. Here we go. Not like we have a choice here. We're just summoning Blue. Da, 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 da. A stroke with my name. Okay. Ooh, no smoke on the main, but the alts got it. So let's see what we get there. My iPad gets a Julia. That's not the one we needed on the alt, but okay, we'll take another Julia. We have another Julia on my iPad. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see what her IVs are. Julia! Come on, I'll tell you to send home every unit who isn't Tiki. I swear, I genuinely try to help others. She is plus HP I don't and minus defense. I don't know what my other one was. Let's go find out, actually, because I'm curious. What else we get? We got Valbar and Abel. All right, Julia. I actually forget how that song goes. Um, plus attack is my main is the one that I had already, and then this new one's plus HP. So the other one is plus attack minus speed. So we could probably merge them. Is the alt the new main? No, the alt is not the new main. Best FE4 girl hype. There are some uh, FE4 characters on my top. 20 list that I you know we need to update this list there's, there's 17 units on my top 20 that's how old this list is uh, because uh, we've added some units uh, so we removed them off the list and now I haven't replenished the list with characters I want um, <laughs> let me see here top 20 most wanted okay so let's see here who's from FE4 thought we had one Let's see, Radiant Dawn, Awakening, TMS, Shadow Dragon, Radiant Dawn, Awakening, Shadow Dragon, Three Houses, Path of Radiance, Shadow Dragon. Here we go, Patty. We want Patty and Faye. She's not in Faye yet. We want Patty. Give us Patty. Shinra from Radiant Dawn, Awakening, Ra Blazing Blade, Radiant Dawn, TMS, Awakening. There's a lot of the middle games in there. Uh, that's great advice why people would want to expend resources with any uh, resources. Uh, with any of that isn't Young Tiki. The only good Young Tiki is Duo Ninian, because you can ignore Tiki in favor of the good dragon. Oh, he doesn't have a duo. Alright, but yeah, we got Julia on the iPad, guys. Alright, what time is it? It's 10. We can go through the calendar a little bit, but I think my lights are going to start to dim at 10.15. I can't remember anymore. Halloween? You mean Tiki Hermione? Yes. Uh, I would get three houses, but the game is uh, long. It's... I mean, if you're playing a single route, it's not so long compared to some other Fire Emblem games, but, at least in terms of chapters. But there's a lot of extra stuff, like, you gotta, you know, like, exploring the castle, which, I mean, or not the castle, the, the monastery, which isn't required, but it's really part of the three house experience, so... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff to play in that game, yeah. My love for the games, uh, for, for long games has gone. I, okay, I have experienced that now that, you know, obviously I have, I have stuff to do. Um, you know, first there was school, then there was work. Now there's just, like, streaming. Um, but that being said, I still do enjoy long games. I just don't have time to play, like, all the long games. Does that make sense? Uh, because uh, I play Smash Bros. competitively, and I seek to be the best Ganondorf main. Oh, nice! I don't play competitively, but I did win a medal uh, at, on Nintendo's E3 stage um, back in 2014. I didn't win the medal. Didn't win the medal in 2018. I came close. I think I was in the s second platform. Um, I did win a handkerchief, though. Yay! <laughs> Smash Bros. handkerchief. Um, let's see. Uh, so yeah, I invest a lot of time into the game, and because of that my love for insanely long games is declining, so I want to get it uh, at a different time. Oh yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And again, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes is a good way to get like you know bite-sized Fire Emblem uh, uh, hits, I guess, uh, from time to time. 
Uh, how we do is so this and Byleth. Sorry for the text. Well, no worries, no worries. No, before that, there was Ninian and the Bad Child as a duo. Bad Child. Hey, hey, we don't talk bad about Tiki here. We just don't put her on a pedestal, that's all. Uh, before that, there was Dad, Hector, and Lena. Uh, that was a boost of your moderation powers. I didn't see what it was, so. All right. On the argument. What argument? All right. Um, calendar. Let's pull up the calendar for a bit. So, I just want to see how our streams are going to unfold. Uh, basically, since we do stream every day, again, this is day 1,418 in a row. We're coming up on four years, which I believe is October 26th, but I'll have to double check that. Um, um, and then, yeah, we're going to plan out the next month's stream. So basically, we'll see which days we're most likely going to stream, primarily Faye, uh, and then we'll see which days are a little bit more open for us to play things like Stanley Parables coming up, we, or we got to, or finish, rather. Apparently, we got pretty far yesterday. And then uh, we're doing Bayonetta 2, and then we're doing Near Automata, which I've never played before. Then we're doing Persona 5 Royal, which I've never played before. And then we're playing Bayonetta 3, um, which comes out at the end of October. November has Pokemon. Um, and then there are other games coming out that are probably going to be announced tomorrow that I can't talk about that are uh, probably going to get on this calendar at some point as well. well guys, my uh, calendar is packed till spring. It's like a quarter of the experience to be honest like a final like final fantasy final fantasy decidia uh a man less fire one like damn i mean hey hey have you seen this this collection to x type x when one collection okay you think that you want an argument that didn't exist thanks congratulations all right um calendar there's the counter's already down here on the i mean i can't read that that's so small Uh, tell you what, let's pull it up on the iPad. Which is, it's a little easier to read, and then I'll make the iPad big over here. Does this work? What's happening? Hey, thank you for the follow! And Wiener Dog, you are, I believe, follower number 1900. Because uh, we hit 1900, and then someone unfollowed, so we're back at 1899. And now we're at 1900 again, or we should be. My counter still says 1899, but that could just take a second to update. Nope, my uh, Twitch uh, dashboard says 1900, so congratulations for being 1900. We have two 1900 1900th followers, guys. Um, unless the person who unfollowed was the one who was 1900, I don't know. Look, I'm new here, and I hate when mods abuse power, but you have the right and power to leave the stream. Uh, well, he had to abuse, otherwise I make people in the chat cry. So it's not abuse, so that's insane. Pretty sure is. What's happening? I have no idea what's going on here. Excited for Hall Forms, FEA time. Oh. Again, guys, Intelligence Systems considers Sacred Stone the ninth game because they started um, development on Path of Radiance before they started development on Sacred Stone. So, in Intelligence Systems' mind, Path of Radiance is FE8, Sacred Stone is FE9. Nikki, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Sun Logan, welcome in. Uh, Neon, how's it going? Nikki, thank you for the raid. Uh, ooh, awkward. What's awkward? Who's going to what now? Uh, Mari, welcome in. Sleep Gnosis, how's it going? You guys are playing Faye. Uh, we did some summons just a second ago, and we got a Julia on my iPad, which is not the unit we were looking for and not the account we were hoping for, but hey, we'll take it. Uh, Kenichi, welcome in. How's it going? Thank you for the shout out, Kaizen. Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, uh, Nikki is a fellow Fire Emblem fan. Uh, I'm pretty sure she was streaming Lost Ark. Uh, actually, now I'm lurking in my stream. Let me see. So I probably want to switch that off to someone else. I guess that I guess that makes me part of the raid too. Guys, I read it myself. In which case, hold on, hold on. Is this gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. Cause I'm not sub. Ah, no. Sub during an ad, and it's still here. Oh no. Well, thank you for the sub. Uh, Neon, that gets you a sub summon. Are you here yet? Are you here yet? But oh, by the way, guys, I should mention that anytime you sub, resub, or get the sub on this channel, you get a sub summon. Uh, basically, once you get five sub summons, like one of those like punch cards, you get like a free ice cream or whatever. Um, when you get five sub summons, I will summon for you on my main account with orbs a full circle on any banner of your choosing. So, and you get cool fire emblem emotes, and you get access to our sub only account on or sub only channel on Discord. I'm here, Azra. Yay! So yeah, like I said, you guys get a sub summon if you. Uh, Sub, resub, or gift sub. So, Neon, you're up to two, I believe. 
So again, three more and you get a sub summon. Well, you can make me summon. Uh, dude, this is my first Fire Emblem experience aside from Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone else has a minimum, uh, a decade of Fire Emblem lore on demand. I mean, kind of, sort of. Um, does the donation get me a sub summon? The donation gets you a thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, I thought we would get free ice cream. No free ice cream, unfortunately. Uh, uh, hey, welcome in. Is it ne next stall? Welcome in. How are you today? Or is that next leet? No, that's not leet. It's five. It's not seven. But welcome in. How are you doing today? I'm going to say next soul unless you correct me. Um, guys, if I mispronounce your name or if you want, to want me to call you something else, feel free to let me know. Uh, as a teacher, it's just kind of habit to, that I want to make sure I pronounce everyone's name right. Uh, for those who are here for the first time, if you came in with a raid, welcome in. My name is Christian. I stream every day on this channel. Uh, this is day 1,418 in a row. We are a couple weeks away from four years in a row. I believe it's October 26th. I could be off by a few days. I'll have to double check. Uh, I, do, I do know what it is. I just don't remember offhand. But uh, yeah, we're getting close to four years. We stream mostly Fire Emblem on this channel, whether it's uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, Three Houses, uh, Three Hopes, um, oops, there we go. Um, older Fire Emblem games. Um, you can see here, there's a picture of my Fire Emblem collection from January 2018, uh, four and a half years ago. We think it was already one of the largest Fire Emblem collections in the world. Uh, since this picture was taken, my collection's probably at least six or seven times bigger, if not more. Because uh, this picture was taken even before Three Houses even came out, so I can't picture or I can't take a picture of my collection uh, since even before Three Houses came out, since I don't have the space to do so anymore. Um, but if you guys want to keep up with uh, new additions to the collection, you can type in exclamation social and follow me on social media. I think my Instagram is where I post most of my new stuff, my new pickups. Uh, but welcome in everyone. Thanks again, Nikki. How was the rest of the stream? Dun, 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 dun. And are you guys looking forward to that direct tomorrow? Man, I wish I knew it was on it. Uh, I mean, I didn't get to Fire Emblem until 2014, so not quite a decade. Hey, you're getting there. You're getting there. Former Whale, the current disgrace, names Kaizen. Nice to meet you, the Project Kaizen. There we go. Yeah, Kaizen's here to, to see when I get my swords. Um, we have the Fire Emblem swords coming in. Do I have the picture here still? <gasps> I do. So, chat. These swords that were given away by intelligence, system, intelligence systems in a raffle in Japan... Um, I have made arrangements with the winners, and I have purchased these Fire Emblem replica swords made by Intelligent Systems, or at least commissioned by them, I'm sure, and then owned by them at for a certain amount of time, and then they raffled them off. So I have purchased these swords. I'm just trying to get them into the States. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they're going to be added to the collection. They are official replicas by Intelligent intelligence Systems of Roy's uh, Binding Blade and Lucina and Krom's Falchion. So, we're getting them. Someday. Actually, they were... Okay. Oh my god. So these swords were raffled off like two weeks, maybe three weeks before that photo of my collection was taken. That's how long it's been. i uh, been waiting four years to see these things. You said you'd have them soon over 14. Hey, hey. They're coming. Soon is relative. But alright, anyway guys. Let's get back to the calendar because we want to update our... Um, our information on when we're streaming what. So this calendar was dropped. Uh, again, guys, if you like Fire Emblem, uh, can we get a shout out again for uh, another shout? Because I think it was it's hidden in the raid there. Uh, make sure you guys, if you like Fire Emblem, go follow Nikki again. She was streaming some Lost Ark today, but she does stream uh, Fire Emblem games a lot. She's currently going through a playthrough of Radiant Dawn. So if you are uh, interested in checking that out, make sure you do so. Although we'll probably uh, I gotta play replay Telius again because it's been a while since I have played Telius. It's been like two years. Uh, and then. Uh, Let's see here. Wiener Dog is also a new uh, Fire Emblem streamer, or well, Fire Emblem player. Fire Emblem Heroes player, I should say. They played Fire Emblem before, it seems. But uh, they're new to Fire Emblem Heroes, so you should give them a follow as well. And then uh, any other streamers that uh, in chat, even if you, if I don't know you already stream, let me know. Because again, I'm always uh, happy to help spread the love. Uh, I also want to find more Fire Emblem streams to, to check out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Thank you for the shout out, Kaizen. I thought those were you in the pictures. That was oh you mean oh you mean the the sword pictures? Those were not me. I'm in the collection picture. Not the sword pictures. Yeah, these are the winners. Uh, the the girl is the one who is the reason why it's been taking so long to get these swords over to the United States. Just that's all I'm gonna say. Um uh, I buy fire merch occasionally. What do you mean occasionally? I have one that was supposed to come in today. <laughs> I've had all the time. Um, 
Okay, calendar guys. We gotta go through this. Okay, let's go through the... Okay, we don't care about login bonuses, right? Those are just login bonuses. Um, the green ones are summoning events. Quests I don't care about, at least for the calendar-wise. Events we do care about. So green and blue, let's go through these. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, guys, hit that follow button. We just hit 1,900 followers. We'd love to kind of pad that with a little extra so we don't fall below 1,900 again. Uh, I'm a streamer. I ne just never streamed and don't intend to ever do it. Gotcha. So you're a streamer at heart. You're a streamer at heart. Uh, did you already do the one uh, 1K stream? Uh, oh, yeah, we got to do that. We got to find a good date for that. Let's see if we can find that. Because now that I am actually getting paid again... Because it's not summer. Yeah, guys, teachers don't get paid over the summer. I mean, people are always like, oh, but teachers get summers off. It's such an easy, easy job. Yeah, but we don't get paid over the summer. So we usually have to get work somewhere else. All right. Uh, so we're going to go through my calendar here. Let me extend this through at least October 10th. Five, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And... Go to the 15th actually all right so why did i say September? oh that's from marching band stuff. so for those that know i am a music teacher um so my marching band rehearsal schedule sometimes causes me to start streaming a little later than usual so just keep an eye on that do one case stream after the direct stay up with me you know i have a work right <laughs> I have worked during the direct. I gotta find out how I can watch this direct in real time while teaching a class. Maybe I'll just give them all a worksheet or something. Uh, you're talking without moving your lips. What? He does that, and I've shamed him for it before. Makes reading his lips. I I don't enunciate. I've had to enunciate more to uh, account for the fact that I have Invisalign now, um, which luckily, um, so in two months. I can switch to not having to have them on during the day, so streams, I'll be back to normal. I still have to wear them at night, but um, I'm still in the period of time where I have to wear the retainers basically 22 hours a day. Direct matters more. I once taught a March Band rehearsal while watching a direct. I also once watched a Smash reveal while teaching recorders, um, Smash character reveal, but a direct during an actual class is a little tougher. Um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, tell them to play Nintendo music. I mean, they are going to be playing Nintendo music, but uh, things I can't verify the actual contents of what's going to be shown. So I don't know if it's going to be appropriate for school. So yeah, there's that. Um, da, da, da. Okay, let's make this calendar. So we're going to go through the greens first. So let's see. Today was the legendary remix. Where's that on the calendar? There it is, 12th. Okay. So Mythic and Legendary Hero Remix, yada, 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 yada. And then what's next after that? The 14th, it looks like. So we have a summer, a Special Heroes Revival. Science of 12 on this 14th. Special Revival. Scions of 12. Okay, what's after that? We have new heroes on the 16th. Which means trailer on the 13th. Uh, which I already marked the trailer down. Okay, uh, what's after that? Looks like Special Heroes are about to stay dreaming. Which one's to stay dreaming? It's on the 19th. Special Revival to stay dreaming. Whatever that is. Uh, 20th. Summon Focus. Bond Skills. Uh, 21st Special Revival. Revival. Uh, a Splendid Soiree. Oh, that's the, um, like, dancer, like, 
Ishtar and wasn't Eldigan the free one? Uh, splendid soiree. I can never spell the French words. All right. Uh, next is twenty fourth, which is Bound Hero Battle. We grew up on the twenty fifth. Let me put that on all the Sundays here. Sunday, Sunday. There we go. Okay, after Splendid Soiree, Bound Hero Battle, we have the 27th, which is a combat boost focus. Combat, what's combat boosts? Um, oops. And that same day, we're also gonna get a trailer for the Legendary Banner. Or, is it Legendary? Or is it? Yeah, Legendary Heroes. Legendary Hero on the 29th. Alright, and then 10 1 Special Revival Performing Arts. Special Revival Performing Arts. Uh, 10 3. I'll catch up in chat in just a moment here. Uh, focus Solo Skills. Uh, and then 10 4 TT. And again, trailer is going to be on the third silhouettes and the second. Silhouettes, trailer, Tempest Trials banner, and then we actually have the special heroes event, which is 10 6. Which one is that one? Are we into the harvest and slash Halloween events yet, or not yet? Because I know some of them, some of the Halloween ones were. They're usually like right before, or even sometimes right after Halloween, like in November. Or at least the revivals were. So it's 10 6. Well, that is going to last a month, right? So, maybe that's the Halloween already? I think that's Halloween. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Special Heroes. Uh, and then New Power on the 8th. And then that's it for the summons. So let me catch up on chat. Uh, Colin Sick, director, I was more talking about Nintendo music. I read, uh, learned to read lips so I could wear constantly headphones in high school. You're a second person whose lips I can't read since you don't speak correctly. I speak correctly, I just don't enunciate. To say dreaming, isn't that with Duo Sigurd? Ooh, maybe, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think To say dreaming is the Yug Girl Festival banner. Yeah, that sounds about right, that sounds about right. Uh, Ender Cab, welcome in, how are you today? Hope you enjoyed the improvements made to the viewer experience. No more game over screens, you didn't see for five minutes. Hey, hey, what if we have just reposition infinitely, huh? Can't fix those. Or, or where me and an opponent are just basically just going around a column just trying to catch each other. Uh, when does this game spike in difficulty and get hard? Closest to death I've ever been is Anna at 5 health. Um, uh, I, I'm assuming you're playing story mode right now, right? Arena and AR. Yeah, yeah. So anything competitive, like wise, that's when it, the hard, the higher up you get in in tier, the harder it's gonna get because you're playing other players. But if you're playing the story mode, um, normal mode is not gonna not gonna get hard that much. Um, when you get into more actual hard mode and uh, lunatic, uh, those are a little tougher. But again, not too hard as long as you know what you're doing. If you played Fire Emblem, you're, you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, the competitive modes, like Arena and AR and Summer Duels, might be a little trickier. I think you're forgetting the fact that I haven't had this game for 24 hours even. Yeah, but again, if you're just playing Story Mode, you'll be fine. Especially since it sounds like you've played Fire Emblem games before. Um, you should be okay. Halloween Dragon Festival is early October. Ninjas is November. Okay. We've had, yeah, we've, we've had Halloween ones, uh, even or at least Revivals go into or you sometimes even start in November before but then again it's because the game's been going on for years and they have to spread it out somehow so um but yeah Wiener Dog so again even if you've uh uh had it for a while or you know, whether it's a short time or a long time if you're just playing story mode you'll be okay um because I'm a very new player yeah and then my only advice is just don't be in a huge rush to spend your orbs just yet uh just kind of figure out the game how you want to play and then Kind of figure out the best way you want to spend those orbs. Uh, if you level up modern units, 
PvE content shouldn't be too hard, so really only PvE should be hard. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Christian, you can fix infinite reposition. You can disable assist skill uh, that move your units on auto in settings. What? But then, wait, assist skills in auto. Well, it's set to no move skills. Is that what I want? Uh, are any of the Fire Emblem games difficult, not coming from a veteran standpoint? Oh, I mean, the Fire Emblem games were notorious for being difficult. That's kind of part of the reason why they didn't bring them to the US uh, or even outside of Japan uh, for the first several entries. Because um, they thought it was too hard for Americans. <laughs> So yes, several of them are very difficult, uh, and even some of the ones since then have been notoriously difficult. They've tried to make it more accessible by adding in easier modes, so that way people can approach the game even if they're not like, uh, you know, super intense in terms of difficulty. So they've added things like casual mode where there's no permadeath. They've added things like Phoenix mode where it's even easier than casual mode. They've added things like uh, like a kind of like a rewind turn function, you know, like save state almost. Um, so they've added, they have added aspects to make it easier, but again, no one's forced to use them, so you can keep the game hard if you want. So, but yeah, some are harder than others. Like, uh, let's see, of the newer games that are easier to obtain, I'd say Fate's Conquest is uh, fairly difficult. Um, Awakenings is easy to get into. You can make it difficult in under uh, certain game modes, like like Apotheosis, which I'm pretty sure is DLC, uh, that make it real hard. Um, Shadows of Bunty is not too bad. Three Houses is not too bad. Uh, but then you get into some older games. Uh, the Tellius games, so Path of, Radi Path of Radiance is, uh, is alright, but then Radiant Dawn starts out hard because your, op your starting team is not very good. Um, Sacred Stones is pretty easy. Blazing Blade starts out really easy, but then ramps up the difficulty significantly as you go. Um, but I think it's balanced like in terms of like, it's, it's, it's like a gradual climb. Um, Binding Blade... Uh, it's not hard per se, it's just that your your lead character is not great. Um, and then you get to the Super Famicom games. Um, Mystery of the Emblems is, is fine. Uh, Genealogy is, it's fine, but there's some quality of life stuff that it's, it's sorely missing. Um, like, trading would be great. Trading items would be so fantastic. Uh, and then the mid quilt of Genealogy of the Holy War, uh, called Thracia 776, is considered one of the most difficult games in the series. Um, and then you got the Famicom games, which you probably shouldn't play anymore because they've been remade on the DS uh, since then. Uh, that's why I can't set my phone down for an hour and come back and have the event grinded. Uh, all right, I'm back. Welcome back, Yuko. Did you get a? Did you get a McFlurry? Uh, Thracia is probably the hardest, but not officially available in English. Radiant Dawn is also hard, but more of an inconvenience. Kind of hard. Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah. You're con you constantly switch armies and they disable the ability to see where the enemies can move. Um, well, they do that in hard mode. You can still do it in regular. Uh, it's kind of a relief. The permadeath kind of appealed to me. I thought it was super cool when I heard it. Yeah, when I, when I heard of this series, I was like, ooh, intriguing. A game they thought is too hard for Americans. Let me learn more. Because I, I did that when I found out, like, because uh, Smash Bros. Melee announced, or not, they didn't even announce it. They just, the game released in Japan, and then, because this was before they started announcing, like, all the characters that would come in. And then, like, people started posting pictures online back in the days of, like, potato quality camera photos. Um, pictures of, like, oh, who, these are all the unlockable characters. And Americans were like, wait, who's Marth? Who's Roy? So I started looking into this, and I was like, oh, it's a series that's never come to America. Why? Because it's very hard. Ooh, I want to play it now. Awaken oh, kicks my ass. It can. Again, you can make it hard. Um, especially if you're, if you're playing on like Lunatic Plus Apotheosis. Uh, how, if anything, you should kick Awakening's ass? That game is too easy to break. Or so easy to break. It, they could be playing Lunatic Plus, and we all know that's, that's kind of like BS. Um, I didn't know what I was doing, and RNG was not my favorite for most fights. I did not. I was thinking about Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, Epi 6 is also hard in that the lore is useless, the map design is abysmal, and the game has some of the most BS game design in the series, but again, it's not in English. Oh, wait, is there permadeath in Heroes? There's no permadeath in Heroes, uh, at least not in the way that we're used to thinking about it. Uh, the reason being is that because the game allows you to basically put money into it uh, constantly, it would be kind of it would be kind of sucky if uh, like you paid for a unit and then they were gone. So 
Um, that being said, in, within certain modes, if you lose a character, you lose them for the rest of that run. Does that make sense? Like, if I'm playing Tempest Trials right now, which I can do. Oh, my, oh, you guys can't see it. Actually, let me finish the count and, I, and we can show you. But, like, if you're doing a Tempest Trials run, which is, like, several maps in a row, and you lose a character, you can't use them the rest of that run. Um, but, again, that run takes you, like, what, a minute? <laughs> Uh, as a tactical noob, it's stressful for me. Uh, you probably knew more than I did first playthrough. I didn't know you could choose your units before a fight, so I only ever used Lucina since she's forced into a roster in one map and the starting cast. Nice. Alright. We finished going through calendar here. Blues. Or the blue stuff in the calendar, I should say. Alright. Um, let's see. Worker Sieges from 9.11 to 9.16. It's the first thing on here. I don't even know how Rooker's pronounced. I've heard it's inc incorrectly pronounced Rocker by some, like, I think it's like a Minnesota college team or something. I don't remember. Uh, 12. What's today? Today's the 12. Limited hero. Wait, we have limited hero battles? Oh, shoot. Didn't do those. Uh, through the 18th. <laughs> so, LHB trailer on the 13th. I know that. Um, what's next? Forging Bonds on the 16th through 29th. Is that the next thing? That's quite a gap there. So no new events for a few days there. Forging Bonds. My lights are dimming already. Uh, after this, we just put FB. Not Facebook. I mean Forging Bonds. Uh, through the 29th. And then we have Grand Hero Battle 17 through 23. Grand Hero Battle. Again, guys, make sure you, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you join our Discord. A lot of uh, Fire Emblem and just general Nintendo fans in our community. Uh, I will not be live streaming the direct reaction tomorrow because uh, I'll be working. I mean, I could stream, but then there are kids in the room, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In Hero Battle, we have... We don't know who that is yet, right? Hall of Forms on the 21st through... The 4th. Silhouettes on the second, trailer on the third. Okay, Hall Forms. We have. Oh, Summer Duels S on the 22nd. I missed that. Uh. No, wait, that's next. Yeah, Summer Duels S. Summoner Duels S. Through the 25th. SDS. And then. Pawns of Loki on the 23rd, 24th. I wish they would tell us the bonus units ahead of time, but that's okay. Pawns of Loki. Uh, twenty-fourth is Bound Hero Battle. Surter and Muspell. Ooh, Surter and Spell, 24th through 30th. PHB, Surter, and 
HP and that goes through when thirtieth. Uh, All right, uh, let me catch up in chat real quick before doing the rest of it here. I'm probably missing a lot. Uh, know about class switching and crap, and I had so many units at max level wasting experience. I mean, that's everyone's first run. Uh, that Lucina is cool. First Awakening run was actually a challenge run. I didn't know it. Uh, imagine some random user makes how to beat Awakening with only Lucina while struggling the whole way. Still wish they added Frederick's pick a god and pray quote. Guess I quit Fire Emblem then. Uh, solo runs and Dire Emblem are actually easy, especially through houses where it's legit easier than playing the game normally. Well, not very many people make Fire Emblem content, so yeah. Why is that? Let the kids stream with you. Claim it's a cameo. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, unfortunately not, which is why this is my favorite fake community. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, you become... Oh, well, thank you for that, by the way, Yuko. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you become so overleveled that enemies can't hurt you, and you have access to every class, so you can choose your skills really early on. Only fake community. Made, uh, make the kids write a 42-page essay while you stream the direct. Uh, imagine using tactical prowess. Here's the thing, I have worksheets that I could give them. The problem is I've already give, given them these worksheets in the past. So, and that's the thing, I gotta figure out my, what my emergency subplans are in case for some reason I can't make it. Because I'm, I'm never gone, but on the chance that I have to be gone, I need to figure out what my emergency subplans are. Uh, this may be a dumb question, but what are you doing? So we have this, uh, this, is, this is the calendar for Fire Emblem Heroes. If you go to the uh, notification screen, they uh, give us a calendar roughly on the 9th or 10th of every month that basically tells us what to expect for the next month, for the next 30 days or so. And what I'm doing is because I stream every day, I stream mostly Fire Emblem, whether it's Fire Emblem Heroes or other stuff. Actually, I used to stream Fire Emblem Heroes basically every day. I use this calendar to kind of plan out my streams for the next uh, uh, next month. And then that way uh, we can kind of figure out what days we're streaming only Fire Emblem Heroes. We can figure out what days we're starting with Fire Emblem Heroes and then switching off to another game. Uh, and then that way chat has, uh, you know, the ability to provide a little bit of feedback and input. So if we're like, oh, here's a day we can stream a Switch game, then chat can let me know, like, oh, is this a day that we can stream Splatoon? Or is this a day, a day that we're going to be streaming, like, Persona? Like, again, I've never played a Persona game before, and I'm looking forward to Persona 5 coming to Switch in October. So, you know, the, things like that. Um, we might not start near or Persona 5 right away. Um... Like on day one, just because... Well, no, I guess those are older games. We could start those right away, because most people that have played... Or are like, going to be gung-ho about it, probably have played it already. So, um, But something like Bayo 3, we might hold off at least a little bit on, so as to not spoil things right away. And plus two, I will literally be playing Bayo 2 this month, so I um, want to let that kind of settle in first. Um, let's see. Toward the end of my Golden Deer, and I legit just threw Hilla at all my problems and turned off my brain. Girl Solo, the final boss. What happens if you have to spend the night in the hospital if you don't have backup plans? Do they just sit there for an hour? Um, usually, if I like, if there is an emergency and I don't have sub plans, I try and get them su like at least a basic sub plan, um, like through email ahead of time. But yeah, so that's why I, I, I need to have backup sub plans in like prepared, you know, in advance. Uh, oh, you have the final agenda night. Yeah, so we 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 know what's coming up for the next month. Uh, so this actually came out I think two days ago. We just haven't had time to really go through it yet. We, we kind of perused it the other day, but... Alright, so we did... Where was I? Oh, wait, let me see. Did I finish catching up in chat? Yeah, The Emblem Agenda. Oh, I like that name. The Emblem Agenda. Uh, okay, where was I? Hall forms. Got it. Uh, Summer Duels. Sir and Spell. Okay, Hero's Journey on the 26th. We always like Hero's Journey. Heroes journey and that runs through the 29th it's usually four days so that makes sense wait no it is four days okay uh next is the 28th we have <gasps> tap battle encore illusory dungeon driven to madness i don't know which one that is but we have a tap battle coming up guys we haven't had one of those in a while tap battle and then on subsequent days, we'll just abbreviate it. TB, not tuberculosis, but tap battle. Uh, 
that goes to the 11th. Uh, and then we have Legendary Hero Battle on the 29th through the end of this calendar. Once we finish this calendar, we'll talk briefly about what tomorrow's stream can expect, and then that will probably be it. Let's see. Voting Gauntlet on the 30th. What's the Voting Gauntlet? What's your favorite Lin? <laughs> I joke, but the fact that it could happen is crazy. And that goes through the 5th. Uh, Uh, ten one Grand Hero Battle Revival, GHB Revival. Uh, Alfric. I forgot Alfric was in the game. To the sixth. GHB. Yeah, I keep a spreadsheet basically uh, that lines out my schedule, my streaming schedule for. The next month, based basically based around Faye. Okay. Uh, after the first, we don't have anything new for several days here. Tempest Trial starts on the sixth. Tempest Trials Plus, and then that's open ended till the end of the calendar here. Uh, and then after that, we have Bound Hero Battle Revival, Guinevere and Melody, the 7th. And that opens until. or is open until the end. Guinevere. And no, I didn't misspell it. That's how Faye spells it. I don't know why they spelled it that way. Who's in charge of localization at Nintendo of America? You spelled Guinevere wrong. Uh, and limited hero battle on the 10th. Alright, so that means we're probably going to get a calendar on the... <sighs> Let's see. Well, because the last thing on here, like, the tap battle ends on the 11th. Does that mean we're going to get a calendar on the 12th? That seems a little late. Let me catch up. I love how Julia can just face tank Summer, Claude, and uh, Ninja Lin. It's great. Tap battle reruns are pointless, though, since they nerfed the rewards to hell and back. Um, that's true, yeah. They should just stop with the tap battle reruns. Nobody does them. I do them. Just put tap battle in concert hall with no rewards so people can have the gameplay. Since the rerun uh, rewards may as well not exist, it would basically just make it permanent. Make it a permanent side mode people can play if they like the rhythm games. They can also do what's your favorite crom? Lynn's not alone in that. We have base, spring, Christmas, horse, sword, legendary, duo, brave, and itsuki. I don't know if Itsuki counts, because Krom is just like, that's not like, I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I wouldn't count that. But alright guys, so tomorrow's stream, the 13th, we're going to be looking at, we have a trailer tomorrow? Oh, that's right, the New Heroes comes out on the 16th. So we're expecting a trailer tomorrow, but it might, so it could be tomorrow or it could be Wednesday. It should be to tomorrow and Tuesday. But it might be Wednesday. Um, but other than that, we don't have anything new happening in Fae. So tomorrow, we're probably going to try and continue Stanley Parable. And or start Splatoon 3. 
Because I don't want to fall too far behind in Splatoon, guys, because people are starting to get levels already. It's he's a crom, crom evens. I know, but I don't know if I would count that as crom. At least for Faye purposes. Um, so yeah, we'll do. We'll start with Faye at the very least tomorrow. We'll keep an eye if there's a trailer, but it sounds like tomorrow is going to be either a Stanley Parable and or Splatoon Day. It's tomorrow Stanley Parable Part 2, yay. Yeah, but again, it'll be after, uh, after a rehearsal, so it's going to be a late start. Uh, so probably around 9.30 my time. 9.30 seems about right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go, guys. That's our calendar for today. And now we have Fate Pass because Kaizen bought it. For the, for the community, apparently. <laughs> Alright, where are we sending you guys? Because my lights are actually about to turn off. They're like really dim right now. Bay counts the side unit as part of, I don't count it. <laughs> Alright, where are we sending you? Who did we go to yesterday? It was yesterday a terror raid? Let's see, who else is on today? Uh, ooh, Dad of Chad's on. They're playing Hatsune Miku, though. I mean, we could go there. We could go there. Uh, JKJ Bay's back on playing Sims 4, Marble Sodas, ooh, playing Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, which one is it? Three Hopes. Uh, San Diego's playing Warriors, Three Hopes. Dango Fam's playing Heroes. Alright. Chat, you wanna, you wanna go raid Dad or Chad? I don't think we've raided them before. Or have we? Game mechanics count it, and I think for voting on that, IS would prioritize game. That's okay, fine. Fine. Fair point. All right, chat, let's read over to Data Chat. Because they're streaming. Actually, they're streaming, like, it looks like a Hatsune Miku, like, rhythm game. Ooh, colorful stage. Guys, Data Chat is eight followers away from 50. Can we get them to 50 followers? I don't know, but let's go. Right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, as usual, guys. Uh, copy the summary command if you have it, uh, or if you have the Hildebonk email. If you don't, you can either hit that sub button, help support the stream, get the email that way, or you can um, uh, use your channel points. That works too. Uh, here's the regular rate command if you can't do uh, channel points either. But uh, make sure you guys follow on social media. Uh, join the Discord, please. And again, uh, we have a Nintendo Direct. I will not be able to stream my reaction live, but. Uh, Make sure to talk about it in the Discord there. Uh, I'll try and tweet stuff as it comes out, but again, I will be teaching class from 9 to 9.30. The, the direct is from 9 to 9.40. Uh, Foul Kaisen, so he'll stream. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the shout out there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to go raid over to Dad. Uh, I hope they don't sign off while I'm in the middle of raiding them. Thank you for streaming. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, let's go raid Dad or Chad. I don't know if we had the chance to raid them before, so we're going to do that right now. Uh, and go say hi. Da, da, da. Again, I don't know how long they're gonna be on, but let's let's go raid um, before they end here. Go say hi if you aren't following Data Chad. Please go do so. They are eight followers away from uh, fifty, which is a pretty significant uh, milestone on Twitch. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Sorry, I keep looking over here. I keep expecting my camera to be here. It's over here for now uh, until I can roll back my operating system and OBS. So you guys have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Again, late start tomorrow and we're going to be starting with Faye or at the very least, maybe starting with uh, Stanley Parable and or Splatoon uh, while waiting for the trailer. Uh, again, we'll probably be on by 9.30. Trailer is usually on at like 10. So yeah, we'll, we'll play it as we... We'll play it by ear. Play it by ear. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you over at Data Chat Stream and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out guys. Bye. Have a good rest of your night and we'll see you. Bye. Thanks.